GTA announced the um cunning no not the cunning stunts <laughs> announced the furthers uh, further adventures in finance and felony <coughs> DLC update thing um and with that little bit of an announcement it's coming on June seventh if you don't know but with that announcement they released three uh screenshots along with the announcements and I was kind of looking through them and kind of trying to see if there's any hidden details and there's really none that I can I mean there's a few little details here and there let's go to the this first picture and I got it here so we can zoom in and out um first thing we notice is we get a we get a computer screen of a guy don't need that of uh what appears to be I'm guessing these are going to be drop points. Um, these red, these red dots here. Hold on, let me try and see if I can get my maca. These red dots here, like those and and these. I think those red dots are going to be drop points. So you'll be in your little hideout, and um, you know you'll you'll go to do something probably on your phone or on the computer, and you know in the drop points. I think. I think they're going to be set drop points that are going to be consistently there. Kind of like a while ago, GTA used to have, um, before the free mode events started, they used to have, uh, like ammo drops or, um, just random drops that would drop certain things, but they would always kind of happen in the same areas. They would always be in the same few areas. So I think that's what that's kind of alluding to, that these, uh supply drops are going to be in certain areas and I think that's what these red dots are kind of showing is where the locations of those would be so it looks like we got some up in Blaine County I'm thinking that these ones are kind of by the airport those small little airport and then obviously this is the Los Santos airport and then this is kind of the business area and then like Rockford Hills and things like that and then some off to the side the construction area casino uh, casinos up a little higher but like the construction area and the loading docks area so um that's that and I noticed in the background too here that this young lady appears to be pouring herself a drink so I'm guessing that these hideouts are gonna be able are gonna be kind of like an apartment where you can walk around interact with some of the environment interact with the liquor bottles interact with the computer and things like that and also over here I'm guessing that that's a TV that you can sit and watch there's probably a couch um, just to the back of it because if we look in the first this is the first um, screenshot that they dropped. First of all, there are two different locations. You can see this is more of a dark hardwood, rich mahogany, if you will, uh, kind of area. And then this one's is kind of more of a modern setting with the white floor, white walls, dark wood, modern lamps, window. So I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like a hangout where you and your crew can come chill probably smoke a bong, drink some liquor, party, things like that. And uh, also kind of a place to run your your headquarters. Kind of like how you have to go downstairs to your heist room. This is going to be like a separate thing where you have to go in to kind of start those um, drop events. Now these are the other two. This one is just a picture of one of the supercars. There's probably going to be multiple supercars, so a little bit different. Um, gonna I'm probably gonna end up selling some of my cars to uh, get these new supercars which I'm excited for and then this is the last picture now this one doesn't have too many details but first thing I'm guessing is that like the airplane and stuff um, that you're gonna be told that hey an airplane just crashed in this area get there and collect the uh, supplies that's dropped you know whether that be like drugs cocaine black market items and things like that um but the other thing that i've kind of noticed is and i think this is what's going to be kind of quote difficult about this is that you can see there's um fib there's an fib agent here another guy there and uh some policemen over here with some police cars so i'm guessing it's not going to be very easy to get out of there i'm sure as soon as you grab whatever kind of package or or box or whatever or bag drops 
they're gonna all be on your ass and um try and take you out and i'm assuming you have to try and get back to your warehouse without any wanted level or anything like that so uh other than that i don't notice any more details right off the bat i'll do a little more research kind of see what's going on but um these apartments look or this area looks a little big there's kind of something interesting over here that i actually just noticed this green box zoom in a little bit i don't think i can't really make anything out with it this green box in the background seems slightly out of place to me and ooh, there's a bit of a reflection there in the window try to figure out where that is I don't, those look like the FIB building and the Maze Bank. So this is obviously a different location than the first. Um, well, hey, hi. Uh, obviously a bit of a different location than this is the first screenshot that they showed. So obviously there's going to be multiple <gasps> locations. But I can't really get tell where what that's reflecting. is. I don't know where, if anybody can, if I find something about it. You know, I'll let you know, but that's kind of all I have for now. But once again, looking really forward to this DLC, so pretty pumped. Gonna start saving some money, probably start selling some cars, <laughs> playing a lot, and uh, make some bank for this. But that's all I got for now. So uh, thanks for watching, and check out my channel, and subscribe, and all that other YouTube shit that people keep telling you to do. Thanks for watching, though.